How old guys able to talk about the Blu-ray numbers and I I just wanna be shocked by this, but the play was number one movie. But again, there's no other movies besides Call of the Wild and Fantasy Island, which Fantasy Island flopped and Call of the Wild also flopped. So basically it's the release of the weekend of the box office flops. Actually Fantasy Island didn't flop, it was a low budget movie fee. But the number one and number two movies are both box office flops. So the number one movie is Birds of Prey, which made $5 million and 247,000 copies, which is pretty similar to 1917. Considering that Birds of Prey wasn't even that great, it probably won't have the same legs as 1917, it won't have the same legs as any of these other movies. Maybe it will, but yeah, Birds of Prey and 1917 have very similar first weekends. Actually, almost identical first weekends, but Birds of Prey will not sell as well as 1917. Have not as great legs because there's two bigger movies coming out next weekend. And the weekend afterwards, and yeah, I'm surprised though that you know they're catching we're catching up on the bar on this, but yeah, Call of the Wild not selling really well. <laughs> but what we're expecting from any Disney movie, yeah, the Call of the Wild is a failure. Blood Song is sold pretty well this week. No, I actually had a big drop, it's now 189,000 copies, it isn't selling too well. I think that will have some decent wigs, but. Does anybody second weekend? I think I don't think that will be the case. Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker dropped fifty five percent, and it's not really selling too well, <laughs> that well. But again, Rise of Skywalker underperformed the fear, so it's underperforming on Blu Ray. Bad Boys for Life is still selling pretty okay for because of new, even though there's new releases. I still believe that movie's selling better on DVD. So yeah, the Blu Ray sales are probably not the most important thing for that movie. Fantasy Island not selling, not moving on. 1913 is still selling pretty well, still having amazing wigs, as always, and yeah, 1913 I expected to have amazing wigs on Blu-ray, Zamunzi, still selling pretty well, is at 822,000 copies, I'll, still, I'll get into it when the DVDs come out as well, Mortal Kombat movie, it had a big drop, it's not really selling too well, but I expected to have at least decent wigs, Do Riddle, not selling too well, Frozen 2, no, but still out on Little Woman, which is nearly out of the top list. But yeah, Do Little, it actually, those actually sound pretty well for box office failure. Frozen 2, so, it sold 2.2 million copies, so I don't really expect it to sell a lot. It's not really pushing a lot of copies like it used to. Gretel and Hansel, not selling, not surprising, the movie sucks. Joker, still selling, still selling, and this week I have a 3% drop. Knives Out had a 14% drop. This movie's having pretty good wigs, actually. Birds of Prey, two movie collection. That, that's on the list. Little Women, not selling like I expected. Jeepers Creepers Free, went up in sales for some reason. Jeepers Creepers Free, that's surprising. Midway, that is selling pretty well. It's still selling pretty well. And they said this movie was a really bad movie. But apparently, it is outselling. It is selling just as well as 917. And this movie is like four or five weeks older than 917. I think this is what 917 will be on its re this weekend. This movie is selling just as well as 1917 on Blu-ray. It is. Zombie Land Double Tap is track in the wrist. But not Dark Fate. Dark Fate is dead on Blu-ray because nobody likes Dark Fate. Which there was like one person who hates this movie on wine, you know, one person. But yeah, one person on the line who hates this movie. But apparently, it's selling, but it's selling really well because a lot of people like the movie. If people like something, it will sell. And yeah, all the SDW movies are not selling. Birds of Prey will not have the same legs like Zombie Land. It will not be selling like Midway, three months to it, and you know, Midway is like three months old. It's still on top on the charts. Joker, same thing. You know, and yeah, Little Women will not be selling three months later. And yeah, that's basically it. Goodbye. The only advantage Birds of Prey has is it's a DC movie. It's not a no-name production. But again, Dark Fate didn't sell.